Okay, um, come to your backs, lay down, bring your knees into your chest. I'm gonna go turn the air conditioning unit off so you can hear me. We'll start with a twist. Beautiful way to begin class. Just take your knees over to the right. Pick up your right shoulder blade, slide it over towards the knees. Draw the left shoulder blade down. You can use your hand to guide the knees down towards the floor. Relax your shoulders. I'll turn this music down a bit. So just notice where the stretch occurs. Breathe through your nose. This is a very subtle practice. And I always love to blend meditation into my yin practice, which simply means to observe and to listen without trying to change. There's many, many benefits. So if you've got a busy mind, with a concerted effort, you begin to follow the breath, and this takes a bit of focus. Every breath out, relax your shoulders. Just keep following the breath and following where the sensations lie in your body. Keep noticing if tension creeps into places like the shoulders. Thoughts that you can't let go of, that's a little bit of tension as well. Just allow it to be there as you soften into everything that you feel and experience and think, you begin to liberate that energy. And if you take the left arm up at shoulder height, with the palm face up, you can also get a stretch into the shoulder, the bicep, and the left side of the chest. So the left arm is nice and heavy. You breathe, feel the torso swell and contract. Come to center, bring your body to neutral, with your legs slightly separated, the palms to face up, and just lay flat. Bring the knees in, pause for a moment. Take the knees to the left, Right arm up at shoulder height, palm facing up. 
Use your arms to guide the left knee down. The other thing I do is I pick up the left shoulder blade and I slide it closer to the knees. Just make sure that you're not clenching in any way the shoulders, the jaw. Just let me know any one of my music is too loud. You can always type it in the chat box. Focusing the mind. Allow those places where you feel tension to soften and be aware of any places other than the stretch, which are tense, which you can also soften. Breathe deeply. more moments here. Keep scanning, keep nudging yourself back into balance, releasing tension, but also remaining focused. And come to center, feet slightly separated. Remember, if you like to move, you can take a full body stretch or wriggle the body, otherwise lay still. And now you're gonna roll over and come up. Okay, so we're gonna work on a bit of a chest and shoulder opener, and you can use whichever props you've got there at home. Um, a, a bolster, I say this every time, but I don't know who, who is new here. You can, you, you can make a bolster with your yoga mat. And you would roll up your yoga mat, and then roll a blanket around it and it makes quite a nice bolster, so, okay. I don't know if Roger's here today, but um, somebody also emailed me, I've had a few requests for bolsters, and I sell equipment, but um, not bolsters, and we do have a contact here that um, makes bolsters. So there's a makeshift bolster if you want. Um, if you've got blocks at home and you're quite flexible, you can use blocks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bolster with ways across your mat, your hips are in front of it. And it's right on my thoracic. So my arms are above the bolster, my hips are down. Make sure that your head's not thrown too far back. 
If you want to get more into the arms, you can take hold of the um, arms over head. Well, that feels quite nice. I was going to use my props, but I'm going to use my, my um, at-home bolster. Okay. Type in the chat box if this begins to aggravate your lower back. I can work with that. But one thing you could do is bend your knees to the floor. Beautiful space to the lungs. Breathe into them fully. You can feel the sides swell as you breathe. So this um, month I'm focusing a lot on mental health and this can be maintenance if we're already healthy and happy in our minds and in our bodies. Um, if you are maintaining a healthy, happy state, then you simply do things that bring you joy every single day. Practicing gratitude is one way to, to, um, to bring joy into your world. Connecting with people that love you and with people that you love and just, you know, whatever that, that may be. If you are struggling, Probably one of the worst things you can do is to try to feel happy, to try to force joy and peace upon yourself. In fact, if you're, if you're feeling a bit crappy at any point in time, maybe due to the, you know, the restrictions that we have, one of the best things you can do is allow yourself to feel that and to breathe into it and to breathe it through your body and I speak from experience it works and it begins to move that energy through you once it begins to move you can channel it into something positive so if you're feeling not great you channel it into a goal or a dream or a desire that is going to move you along a path to greater health happiness joy or whatever that may be If you're holding onto the elbows over here, remember to alternate so that the other arm is on top. The shoulders relax, particularly if the arms are over here. Focusing, notice if you've drifted off, drifted into thoughts of the mind, gone elsewhere. And bring yourself back to that gentle focus on the breath and on the body.
Bring your arms down if they're overhead. Bring your feet to the mat, adjust the pelvis. The best way to come out of this without straining the back is to roll over and come up. And just find yourself in a seat. Before we do a forward fold, we want to twist just to kind of bring the spine back to neutral. So take your time. So see all the heads pop back up into the screens. I know that you're with me. <laughs> twist to the right. So the best way to twist, a, a twist is to twist into a long spine. So as you breathe in, sit tall, make space between each vertebrae, and then rotate a little bit more around the spine. Take a few breaths. Inhale, come to center, lift through the crown, and then exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, straighten out your right leg and prepare to stretch into the hamstring. I love props for my head. If your um, knee tends to bend or if you feel discomfort behind the knee, propping something under there can be very supportive. Yin is all about support. Um, you can use a strap if you need it around your foot. I like to pick up the flesh of my sit bone, pull it out from underneath me, and that begins to get into the hamstring rather than just um, rounding the spine. So sit up tall, inhale, and start to bring, bring your belly down the thigh, then the chest. And you can continue to lengthen by inhaling, lift the belly, lift the chest, and then take it further down the leg. And you can do that a few times, inhale, Move the flesh back until you feel like you're there. So you can have, you can, like if you're propping your, your head, I had my block inside the leg, um, but I'm incredibly tight in the sides of my body. So I'm gonna take my block outside the leg, take my left hand outside my right foot, and that's gonna give me a double stretch into the left side of the body. In these quiet moments, we are stretching our body, we're creating space. We can contemplate whatever is inside of you, the other facets of what it is to be in the human body, thoughts that are on your mind. 
getting to know what is there, to know yourself better. This final moment, remember we have gravity helping us. So you may have had a shift in the body, in the physical body, and you may need to just create length, move the butt back and the front body forward, and you may notice that you go a little bit deeper for these final moments. Slowly come up. Man, I could have stayed in that one for longer. Felt good. Okay, so if you want to move, you can move to release. I really, as you've probably noticed, been favoring the sitting still in between to just feel. So completely up to you what you prefer to do. Either jiggle around or be still. Hey, if, um, this Max Melville playlist is really nice for you and if you um, got here late or you weren't sure and I wasn't sure about this playlist, it's lovely if you want to try it. I'm following it on Spotify, but if you put in Max Melville, it's really super chill, nice. Okie dokie, other side, take the left leg out. You probably feel like this leg is about an inch shorter than the other one now because we, you, know, you can see how subtle and slow the changes are. So set yourself up for success, butt back, heel forward. Um, after a while, I placed the block around my foot. I really like this. This gets the stretch a little bit lower down. You know, it's like a bit of a down dog. It kind of stretches into the calf. So that's nice as well. If you can't reach the block, wrap a strap all the way around the block. Sit up tall. Move the front body down the leg. And you may need to do that a couple of times or a few times. And how? Exhale. Ooh, man.
relaxing shoulders. moments or just make any final adjustments if you need. You may have had a shift in the body that you haven't actually moved into. So you may need to go a little bit deeper. Slowly extract yourself out. Choose to come to sitting or to jiggle and move, allowing <sighs> balance. Okay, from the back of the leg to the front of the leg. Quads, hip flexors, um, it's unlikely, but if you're more open in the quads, then this could be something that moves into the tummy. So if you think that, you know, we, we, we're working on the fascia, which is just one big connected amount of tissue. So if we stretch here, we're also gonna stretch, you know, any other part of the front of the body. So you, you uh, move in such a way that you find part of you that is tight and you go there. So start with one foot forward. Which way will I face? Um, I don't know, I'll fix like this. Okay, so think of somewhere along the front of the body. So that means, for me, sometimes I like to stretch out. Now one thing I didn't mention, and I always forget this because my hamstrings are a little bit more open, is if you're not so tight here in relation to this leg, you're actually going to feel it all in the hamstring or the butt, and that is fine. Um, but we're kind of trying to target the front of the body because we just did the hammies. So you could start up and lean back. I feel that really strongly in my leg. Or you could start to come forward and take the opposite hand to the foot. Wow. Man, oh man. Now, for those of you who are kind of flexible, after a while, you may start to come down to the forearm and you may start to bring the forehead to the floor.
gently release. Wow. Come to your front. You can come to child's pose. Or you can come lay flat on your tummy, it would be quite nice as well. Wow. Just make a pillow with your hands. Okay, make yourself or make your way up to the other side. To bring the other foot forward. Just finding, exploring. One side could be a little different. Slowly moving into the areas that you feel the urge to go.
more moments. I'm still with you. Gently release. Oh. Into your front. Make a pillow with your hand. Okay, come up. Let's do the shoulders and stuff like that. So just get something comfortable to sit on. Very nice. Bring your right arm up. Guide your fingers down between the shoulder blades. Notice how that kind of juts the head forward and see if you can sit up tall with the chin facing forward, relax the shoulders down. Take a few moments here to breathe. And then take the left arm down and back. So just having that hand behind you could stretch the shoulder. You could just take the hand across the waist, use my hand, or start to creep it up between the shoulder blades and catch the right hand. Ooh. Breathe slow. So, ah, dear. Thanks, Anne Marie. <laughs> He's got a funny message in the chat box. Excuse me. Okay, so if it gets too much, rather than release the stretch, just ease off. So this one for me, I feel really strongly in the front of the left arm and, and I'm connecting. As it gets too much, I just drop the hand down and take it here. So I'm still getting that stretch, um, but it's subtle enough for me to go the distance. Using your breath to maintain that state of balance in the body. Are we going to have sunshine or rain today? I'm looking straight ahead at beautiful blue skies. The side of me, it looks like stormy weather. I really should find something better to talk about, shouldn't I, than the weather, but. Okay, a few more moments here. Keep the mind focused, undistracted like mine. Gently release. Oh. Ooh. Roll the shoulders, connect to the neck, you might want to roll the neck. Oh. I can tell that I started practicing yoga again yesterday. I kind of got back into my actual 
my yoga practice and oh I've got that nice feeling like I've done something feels good okay take the left arm up drop the shoulder down draw the elbow in chin forward also try not to flare if you're flexible like me the ribs down a little bit getting everything into alignment take a few breaths Take the other arm back. I find it really interesting though. Um, so I did, you know, just without having the variety, and I, you know, I don't know how you guys feel. You guys are here with me, so you're pretty devoted, which is amazing. But I did lose my practice and I stopped actually practicing before class. I just was getting up and teaching, which if I don't practice, I feel that I don't have a lot to teach. And so then my teaching isn't as good. So I started practicing again. Um, damn it, I can't remember where I was going with that. I had an air, I had something I was going to say, it'll come to me. It's not coming back. Oh, yeah. When I practice daily or, you know, five days a week or whatever, I can't live unhealthy I have to eat healthy um, I have to you know stay hydrated because I can't physically practice so it's kind of a a win-win really when we when we have a goal to work towards then we have to actually have healthy habits outside of that practice as well if I'm not practicing yoga I can afford to you know eat less healthy food and not take care of my body and then that becomes a spiral as well so now that I've made the commitment to practice Regularly again at least four days a week if I'm teaching four days a week. I then feel that I must you know eat the healthy foods and Drink the hydrating beverages so the knock-on effect You're welcome. I think that's Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. See you later. Okay, everyone, come out, relax, release your arms, roll the shoulders. Oh, man, oh, my push ups. Actually, this is nice. Do this. It's like Simon says, do this. Simon says, do this. Ah, interlace your fingers behind your back. Oh. Okay, we've got a little bit more time, not a lot. We've got time for hips. Are you pleased about that? Let's do this one. Right shin in front of left if you're super flexible. Right ankle on left knee, right knee on left ankle. If you're tight, put that under your butt. Sitting up is enough of a forward fold for many. So take a moment to let the body have that initial release here. If you are stacking, try to keep the ankles, the inner ankles long. And you can start to come forward.
So in these forward folds, we're using gravity. And sometimes one of the hardest things is to relax and go with the flow. And that's what we learn to do in Yin, is to relax and ride that wave, allow the pull of gravity, and if it's too much, props allow us to be supported as we continue to relax and go with the flow. head first, Use your arms to help you come up, lean back, release the legs. Oh. Switch sides. Start seated. Feel the initial release and come forward. Okay, lift your head, lift your body. I'm going to give you the choice today to finish in seated meditation or laying down in Shavasana. I'm going to stay seated. So if you want to come to your back, come to your back, just laying in neutral pose, laying down. Otherwise, 
I can sit like I'm going to. Just letting it all sink in. Start to come back into this space, into this day. Take a few stretches to wake up the body. Keep your lying down, roll over, make your way up. sitting and just savor what you received today. I hope that I served you well. One of the best things we can do to bring joy into our lives, whether we're already feeling you know, joyful or whether we are not, is to feel gratitude. This brings us into the now, reminds us that we have blessings in every day. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small. So why don't we take a moment of gratitude just to count our own blessings? And you can know that you did the greatest service to yourself today by coming to class. Um, a bit corny it's a bit cliche but we did it we took an hour to you know to maintain our state of health or maybe even move towards a greater state of health be it physical mental emotional lifestyle whatever that may be bring your palms together at your heart bow your head to your hands in acknowledgement of self in gratitude for the blessings we have and as a reminder that it's our essence and our core we are made up of the same stuff. We are one. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a fabulous day. I'm glad you enjoyed. Can you do two classes a day, one yin and one yin basa, or do both? <laughs> I, you want me to do or do you, yeah. or are you asking if we can do yin every day and also do another one it'd be brilliant <laughs> I don't worry about me having a life Andrea <laughs> I'll pay extra I don't have to travel it's so good <laughs> <laughs> hey if the demand is there I'll do more God, I'm doing more yoga now than I've ever done it's great I know, you know, <laughs> some people have just really said that the that the online has actually, they've even enjoyed it more. 
Mm. Yeah. Um, and and I've seen some some benefits to it as well. Like I, I and, and then other other people say, look, it's just not for me. And some teachers say, look, I don't like teaching the online. I'm like, mm. I have absolutely mm. loved it. And a weird irony is, I feel even more connected in a way. Yeah. Because yeah. a yeah. we're all missing this contact, but b. So I feel like, well, A, I'm not checking people in and, you know, wow. I'm not with on the front desk and I get to really chat with yeah. the guys and, so, yeah. you know, it's been a huge, mm. it's been a wonderful experience for me anyway. And I don't get sick of you as a teacher either because I oh, like the class. Thank you. I get, I get used to your class. So I'm quite able to do your class every day. I don't get that sick of it. That is amazing. So. I, it, that's yeah. really good to hear because I get sick yeah. of me. But since I've been back at the studio, I, I find it hard to practice by myself at home. I, I use the mirrors. I use the space. So now yeah. that I'm back practicing, I'm getting less sick of myself. Because yeah. if, if, if I'm sick of myself, come on. I must be a little bit sick. No, I like it. So keep going. Thanks, Andrea. I'll pay you later. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. Good to see you all. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Glad you enjoyed. Where are you? Keep moving around. <laughs> Have an awesome day. <laughs> I was like, one minute the box is there, then it moves up there if everyone leaves. <laughs> see you later. Oh, Miss Kat. See you, see you Jenny. See you, Jane. See you, John. See you later. See you, Jenny. Thanks, guys. And all the people in chat. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Olga. <laughs> Have a fab one, everyone. See you later.